have to support vegetation common to the lower elevations. You there? The mushrooms and other fungi on the following pages are all found in the moist hardwood forests of the southern Appalachians. Of the twelve, only the jack-o'-lantern is poisonous, but a few are particularly palatable. They perform an essential function, however. Fungi plants without chlorophyll are important garbage recyclers of the forest. They secrete enzymes that aid in the breakdown and decomposition of plant and animal matter thus providing nourishment for themselves and other organisms. Berkeley's polypore, a variety of Caesar's mushroom, one of the Lipiota mushrooms, bricktop mushroom, and it's got its name because it's red as a brick. Covered Coker's Amanita mushroom, Chandra Hypergorgorous Mushroom. And Amanita is one of the villains in the Without Me dance from Just Dance 2021, if you saw that. Jack o' Lantern Mushroom. And these ones are poisonous. It's Reticulate Stemmed Follette. Chicken Mushroom. Regard! By Kogala Epidermium Slime Mold. Broadgilled Colibia Mushroom, which is butter jelly fungus. A male wolf shrinks defensively into its burrow in the glare of a photographer's flash. Prey to nearly near every carnival, mammal, bird, or reptile in the southern Appalachian woodlands, the wolf seldom lives more than a year but maintains a species population with a phenomenal reductive capacity. It can have as many as 17 litters in one year. Here's the bull. The attractive but poisonous coral snake bottom, there's the coral snake, has two Harmless mimics, the scarlet and scarlet king snakes, both differ from their look alike a shorter tw six length sixteen inches and of twenty inches, and a black band separating the adjacent red and yellow band of the coral snake. This is the scarlet scarlet king snake, and this is the scarlet snake. Terrain, an adult bear looks down from the fir tree. Amazingly agile for their size, black bears learn to climb trees as cubs and go on doing it all their lives. To look around, to retreat from danger, to rob a bee's nest of honey, or merely to take a nap, propelled by their powerful hind legs, they shinny up, circling the tree in a spiral. They descend tail first, landing on their rumps, roll over and amble off. Here's the bear. A sow keeps a close watch on her two cubs, which are about six months old and weigh 15 pounds. They will have gained only another 25 pounds by the time they den up in the winter, reserving most of their growth for the next three years, and reaching their full adult weight at about four years old. You know? These are the babies. Sensing danger, a sow stands guard all her cubs scampers up a tree. There's the cub. There's the mom. A cub scratches for morsels among rocks and rich July foliage. Really relaxed on a precarious perch, a cub dozes in the sun. Hmm? Standing easily upright on its hind legs, a six-month-old bear cub licks crushed insects from its paws while under the surveillance of its mother. Hmm? 